Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. This is Pastor David, and I'm excited to be able to come visit you today. And, uh, man, I want to just kind of recap the weekend a little bit. Uh, last weekend was, was really a, a very significant day, a uh, weekend, actually, in the life of our church. It was uh, a very strategic time. We, we started Saturday, of course, with our church-wide breakfast, had a really good crowd for breakfast, and uh, had a great time of fellowship together and, and uh, love our, our family breakfast together. And then we followed that with two hours of, of, uh, of training, which we called our Ignite uh, training session with uh, our church leaders. And we had a tremendous, I was so encouraged with the number of leaders that came out for training. And, and it was a very interactive time and, and we discussed some new ministries and some processes and infrastructure of our church and it was just a great time and, and we really engaged a lot of new leaders that I'm excited about and, and that, was, that was exciting for me to see because we're going to do more of that as our church grows and moves forward and not only making disciples as Jesus instructed us to do but make leaders, produce leaders and, and teach and train and and uh, ignite people to, to be the leaders that God has gifted them and called them to be. So Saturday was awesome. Sunday morning, wow. Uh, Sunday morning was our Kid Men program, uh, Super God. And uh, boy, I, I loved it. I loved the video. I loved the music. I loved the kids on the stage. And, and Janet and her team of leaders, uh, just an incredible production. And really helped us to look forward with, with our message. Uh, told you about a little bit about our children's curriculum and and we just have such a strategic plan. Remember, our aim is is the hearts of our children. That's what we're aiming for. And we're looking at these arrows, and God is is helping us to aim for the hearts of our children. And so that was exciting. We enjoyed our Gideon. Um, Stephen Montague came and shared the ministry. As each year, we'll have a Gideon guest come and just share a little bit about the ministry of the Gideons. And our church was able to participate and partner with them financially and. Uh, man, I, I just appreciate so much the generosity of our church. and So Sunday was an awesome day. Now, uh, something else happened Sunday. Well, two things. We dedicated two of our little babies, uh, little Elijah and Cameron and their families. We dedicated to the Lord. And, and uh, that's always kind of a special day for our family. But we had 13 new members on Sunday. 13 people joined our church. And uh, we, we have people join almost weekly. But, boy, that, was, that perhaps was the most we've had on one particular Sunday. And... Just an exciting time for people to come and, and decide and come forward and make a choice that this is where God's led us to be. This is our family. This is our home. So welcome to all of those new members, uh, members of our family. And so we're just excited literally week to week to see God add to His church. So uh, what a great weekend. And then Sunday night we closed all that out with the baptism over at Cecil and Sonia's. And, and uh, we just had a special time with our families and and refreshments and just a sweet, sweet fellowship time with church baptism. So, praise the Lord. Amazing weekend. And then uh, this week, we're, we're excited about, this is August 30th. It's, it's amazing to me that August is gone. I mean, uh, Friday is, sep is September 1, and then Sunday will be um, September. And so we're moving into the new month, the month of September. We're moving into fall. And... Uh, we're just getting ready. We're excited. Now today, today, Wednesday, our senior adult ministry has their first meeting today. They will be meeting at 10 o'clock every Wednesday here at the barn. And uh, just people that, that uh, love the Lord and want to come out and fellowship will have refreshments and we'll have uh, Bible studies and testimonies and times to share and just have fun and laugh and we'll do some trips and uh, they start today. It all starts today for our senior adults. So Man, we're so excited about Frank and Carol and their leadership, and, and uh, I, I can't wait to be there myself. So I invite any of you out there who, who are senior adults that, that you just come and just, just have fun together with our church family. And, and then uh, kicking off our fall, this Sunday night will be our uh, launch for our youth department, our senior high, and it will be our first meeting together with our middle school youth department. So... Uh, met this week with our youth leaders, our student ministry leaders, and they're excited, and I love them, and I'm so proud of them. And so, man, it's it's time for fall. We're ready to start, ready to roll. We're launching different ministries that will be new for us and, and uh, some new opportunities for us in regards to our facilities, our site, and, and uh, just, uh, man, God is on the move. 
here at the Community Church of Mount Pleasant. So thank you for being with us and, and coming and praying and, and investing and giving and serving. And uh, man, I'm, I'm just excited. So I want to give you a brief devotional today. I want to re read from the book of Hebrews. And, and this is a great historic, recognizable chapter for you. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11. And, and, and there are individuals here that are examples, they're given to us as examples of faith, their faith in the Lord. And, and it's, it's talked about many times as the hall of fame of faith. And so there's individuals here in Hebrews chapter 11. But I, I was thinking about this, this passage and, and I don't know, I, I, just, I was reading these verses and we'll read in Hebrews chapter 11 verses 8 through 16. And I was, I, I was thinking about, somehow I was thinking about home. And I was thinking about being homesick, and I was thinking about maybe times in my life that I'd been homesick. And perhaps there are times when you've been homesick, and, and uh, perhaps there have been times where you see something, or hear something, or feel something, or smell something that reminds you of home. How was it back in the day when you were growing up? I think home centers around the people, uh, the places. You know, mom, dad, brothers, sisters, the old home place. For me, it was a farm in East Tennessee. It was Snow Hill up on top of a, of a mountain in East Tennessee. That was home. And, and occasionally, I'll be out and I'll, I won't be thinking about home, but I'll see something or I'll hear something or maybe even smell something that reminds me of, wow, that reminds me of home. And so uh, I'm, I'm thinking about home today and, and maybe a little bit about being homesick. And, and as I look uh, in this passage, Hebrews chapter 11, and, and I'm, I'm thinking about something that makes me think of home. So let's read uh, verses 8 through 16 as we're talking about the Hall of Fame of Faith. And here are these people that, that God has honored. These are heroes. And let's think about home a little bit. Verse 8, by faith... Abraham, one of our champions, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, he obeyed. He was called to go out into a new place. He obeyed and he went out not knowing where he went. The, the theme here is faith. So Abraham was called of God to go out into a place that he didn't know and he exercised his faith. Now look at verse 9. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise. This was the promised land. And in the strange country. So here he was uh, led and thrust to go out into a strange or a new country. Dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob and heirs with him in the same promise. So he was into a new country. Have you ever been thrust into a new... You know, you know I was thinking about fall. First day of school. Uh, man, think back. Think about the first day of elementary school. First day of kindergarten. First day of middle school. First day of high school. First day at college. First day in class. New teachers. New people. You're uncertain. There's butterflies in your stomach. You feel uncertain and scared and, and, and reluctant and hesitant. And, and it takes faith. Maybe a new job. A new challenge. A new relationship. Well, here's Abraham, and he's thrust into this new land. There are fears. There are challenges. You know, our church has, has gone through that. We started in the barn. It was safe, and it was warm, and it was cozy, and we were thrust out into a new place that was cold, and, and, and it was foreign to us. But now, the elementary school has become home, and we're comfortable, and it's safe. And in, in the future, at some point, we will be in a new position, a new place. You know what it takes to be in a new place? It takes faith. It takes faith. So, Abraham was in this new, strange position. And it took faith for him to move forward. He didn't go back and withdraw and say, I'm scared. God, I'm scared. This is new. I don't know these people. I don't know this school. I don't know this church building. I, I'm, I don't know this job. It's natural to be afraid. It's okay. But by faith, Abraham moved forward. Now let's continue to read. 
And, and this is verse 10. For he looked for a city. Abraham was in a new place. It was uncertain. There were fears. But he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Listen, if you're in a new job, or a new school, or a new relationship, God has been there before you were. That building is not new to God. The builder and maker is God. Through faith, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who was promised. Sarah was scared to death, but she had faith in knowing, God, I've never been here before, but you have. Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good, as good as dead, so many as the stars in the sky in multitude, as the sand which is by the seashores. It was innumerable because God had that plan. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Look, friends, we're looking for a country. We're not home. We're looking for a place. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. And I close with this verse. Look at this verse. But now they desire a better country. That is a heavenly country. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. For he has prepared for them a city. You know what I think about as I close today? Wow. I think about the world we live in. I think about the storms in Texas. I think about the violence in Charlottesville. I think about the prejudices and the, 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 the media. and the, the, It's a scary day. It's perilous. The Bible says these are perilous times. But guess what? We're not looking for this country. We're looking for another country. We are just pilgrims. This is not home. By faith, God has brought us to this good place. But this is not the final place. We're looking for, remember, looking for that city, looking for that country that we're going to be forever with God, with our loved ones. So, can I encourage you today? These great heroes, they, they accepted the challenges and they faced their giants by faith. Maybe it's work, school, New, scary, uncertainties, finances. Don't worry. God has been there before you. And we're not looking at this world as home. We're looking beyond. Sometimes we get a little bit homesick. Because this is not our destination. God has a place for us. Now you're going to have to have faith today. Look, go ahead and go to work today. Go ahead and go to that new school. Go ahead and go to that job. It's going to be okay. God's already been there. He's got it worked out for you. We're looking beyond that place to that city which is called heaven for us. Be encouraged. Take courage. This is a new fall, a new season, a new start. Uh, God has gone before you and He's making a way. I hope you'll be at church Sunday. I can't wait to see you. It's going to be an exciting time. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for letting me visit with you today. God bless you. We love you.